Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fun bird haul. A uh, bunch of supplies that I got for all of my birds. We are joined here today with Shom and Gizmo. They are both cockatiels. And as you can see behind me here, if I move the camera down a little, I have a lot of fun things to show you. We're also in my crafting room. Um, I do a lot of yarn stuff. I do knitting and crocheting. So we're in my craft room today, avoiding the dogs. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's get right into this bird haul. I've got tons of goodies here. Um, I am going to get into some just fun supplies that I got, just some toys and stuff. Um, and then I'm mostly going to be showing you bird food and some of the things that require that are required in my monthly haul every month. Um, bird foods that I have to buy for all of the birds. Um, so yeah, if you guys stay tuned until the end of the video, I do, you're slipping. I do have two fun surprises to show you at the end of the video. So if you stay until the end of the video, you will see some fun surprises. So let's get right into this. Um, so me and my friend Shyler actually drove about an hour to this locally owned pet store. Um, it is one of my absolute favorite pet stores, uh, but I got a bunch of stuff. They are super inexpensive and I just absolutely love this pet store. Um, so first we're going to get into some of the goodies. I got these bowls. Uh, one of my birds did need some new stainless steel bowls. So I got these. They are the clamp-on ones. So they just lift right out of this little round holder that clamps onto the cage. Um, these were both $4 a piece. And then I got some fun goodies, some toys, um, just a couple fun toys for some of the smaller birds. Um, they just needed a couple new fun toys. So I got this little foraging ball with some fun foraging toys in there. They will love this. Um, sorry the lighting is so bad. I'm filming at night and this is just kind of a spur of the moment video I wanted to post. Um, but this little foraging ball was $5.95. And then I got this little banana toy um, with the little wood and the strings. And this little guy was $4.29. And then I got this fun toy. I don't know why, I just thought it was really fun. Um, if I were a bird, I would want to play with it. I want to play with it and I'm not even a bird. Um, but this was $4.95 or 99 cents. Um, so I got this. And then I found these platform perches, um, which are actually super expensive online and they were a lot cheaper there. And I had been wanting to get a couple of these small platform perches. So I got two of them, I, <laughs> me and my friend, they only had three left. My friend got one and I got the other two or I honestly probably would have bought more. Um, this smaller one was $8.19 and the bigger one was $8.89. Um, but these are just platform perches. Your bird can perch on these without having to wrap their feet around. So it does give their feet a break. They are wonderful. If you have any bird, I recommend getting some platform perches. They're just great to have in a cage. And then now we're going to get in to some treats and food that I got for all of the birds. Um, first off is just some basic millet. Uh, millet, you can never go wrong, especially if you have small birds. It is great for training, um, flight training, recall training, or really just any training. Um, millet. I would have gotten two of the big bags, but they only had one left. These actually were sold at Walmart. Um, because the first pet store I went to, I went to many different pet stores to get all of this because I can't get it all in one place. Um, but the first pet store I went to, they didn't have any left and I didn't think I was going to this pet store an hour away um, for a while. So I ended up buying some at Walmart just because I needed some. Uh, but they only had one of the big ones left, so I ended up having to get a small one. But these are great. 
Love millet. Can't ever have enough of that. And then at the pet store that I went to, they had these awesome oven fresh bites. Um, they're basically like little cookie shaped bird treats. Uh, and these are apple and cinnamon. And these are really great for um, elderly birds or birds that have arthritis. Cinnamon is actually a natural anti-inflammatory. You just have to get bird safe cinnamon, so be very careful. Um, but I can get into that in another video. But, um, oh, Sean, you like my red hair? Um, so I got these apple and cinnamon cookies um, for a couple of my elderly birds. They're not really elderly, but they're hitting middle age and I want to make sure that they don't have any arthritis or have any health issues. So I did get these just to give them as a little treat and help with anti-inflammatory and some of my birds with arthritis. And then I got Nutriberries. Uh, Nutriberries are also a great treat. Um, they have seeds, pellets, fruits, vegetables all in here. So if you just need a quick treat, uh, Nutriberries are great. I always get the parakeet size. I feed the parakeet size to all of my birds just because I like how small they are just for a little treat. Um, so I did get some of these. And that is all for the treats. Now we're going to get into the actual food. Okay, I think that they want to go onto their perch. Uh, I'm going to set them on their pulley stand over here. Um, but let's get into the actual food. Um, so foods, pellets are very important with birds. Anybody who has birds probably knows that. Some people don't though. So I like to reiterate that all the time. Pellets are amazing for birds. Obviously it can't be their only diet. They do have to have a mixture of different things, fresh fruits, fresh, fresh vegetables, chop. Um, but again, this is not an information video. This is just showing you the stuff that I buy at the pet store every month um so food wise anyways the other stuff was just fun stuff that i just wanted to add into the video that i just got as spur of the moment bird toys and stuff are a whole nother thing um but pellets are really good for birds um so i have a ton of pellets here so people who don't know much about birds probably think birds bird seed that's not how it is um but again you can watch later videos that i'll be posting uh to just explain all of that but pellets are really good for birds. Um, so a couple of my favorite pellets, uh, Rowdy Bush, one of my birds, Pajita. She is an Amazon parrot and she was on a seed diet for over 20 years. Um, and this was one of her favorite pellets. This was her first pellet she ever took to. So I always get this to mix in and give her these pellets. These are her absolute favorite. So Rowdy Bush is a solid pellet to give to your birds. And then, um, I really like the Kai Tech. Um, they're like oven baked bites. Um, but I can't get them anywhere in stores, at least around me. I don't know if they sell them in stores, but I can't get them anywhere near me. So I do have to order them um, when I want them. But a nice alternative, uh, PetSmart actually, their brand, All Living Things, actually came out with oven baked bites. Um, they're not the same ingredients, but they're similar. So they are nice to have when I can't get my hands on the Kitech ones. Um, but I got two bags of the parakeet sized. Um, these, honestly, some of their si their sizing is like really messed up. Um, like, I I can't explain it, but their their sizing is really messed up. So the parakeet size I can feed to parakeets, cockatiels, conures, my ring neck. Um, I can feed this parakeet size to a couple different ones of my birds. So I did get two of those bags. And then for the bigger birds, um, I actually get them the conure size because the conure size is actually really large. Like no conure that I know would be able to eat this. Like conures do have large beaks, but not this large. Um, I did rip into this one when I first brought it home because uh, Nala was out exploring and she wanted to try them and they were a hit she really liked them and then my dog tried to rip into it and eat them but I did get two bags of 
the Conure Oven Baked Bites for my big birds. And then one of my absolute favorite bird foods in the entire world is Harrison's. Um, I do get the high potency um, at least once a month. I buy the high potency and then other times I just get the regular um, adult lifetime. But the high potency is really, really good for birds that you need to switch on to this food or that don't typically want to eat pellets. This is a great bird food to switch your bird onto pellets is Harrison's. They are more expensive, but they're just absolutely amazing. And the high potency is fabulous because for birds that are just tasting it, it does have a lot of extra nutrients per pellet so they can eat less of it and get extra nutrients or birds that are underweight that you need to have gain weight. The high potency is really good, but I just really like the high potency. Um, at least once a month just to give them extra nutrients. I, I don't have to do that. I just do. I really like the high potency and I like to have a bag of it around in case any of my birds get sick and have to go to the vet and if they lose any weight, anything like that, I just like to have this in case. Um, so I did get a nice big whopping five pound bag of this Harrison's and it was actually only $35. Um, I got this at a pet store two hours away the other way well it was actually it's a bird rescue it's not actually a pet store but they do sell bird foods toys and things like that um cages for when you adopt a bird um but yeah so I got this for 35 bucks whereas all the pet stores in my area want like 55 to 60 dollars for this bag so good deal if you can't find it for a good price in your area order it online it's like 35 dollars online as well go to Harrison's direct website. Um, but this is one of my absolute favorite foods in the entire world. Um, and then my parakeets, obviously my parakeets, my cockatiels, they all have to have some form of seed in their diet. Um, they do eat pellets as well and mostly pellets, but they do have to have seed in their diet as they are seed foraging birds in the wild. So you do have to give them some seed in captivity. So I like the Higgins Vita Seed Parakeet, parakeet um, mix because I don't like any bird seeds that have peanuts or sunflower seeds. No good. Um, they can make your bird extra fat. Um, it just has too much fat in them and peanuts are just not good for birds. So I like to get this one because it does not have any of those things in it. Um, so the Higgins Vita Seed. And then I also, because it was buy one get one half off, um, I've never tried this one before, but I figured I'd try it. It looked, I read the ingredients, it actually looked like it had some pretty good ingredients and it has pellets mixed in. Um, so we'll try it, just they don't need it all the time. It's not like in their cage 24 seven. So um, this Higgins Sunburst Gourmet Blend, um, it also does not have any sunflower seeds or peanuts or anything in it. Uh, but it does have little dehydrated pieces of fruit, which I feel like my parakeets will really like because I do get um, little dehydrated pieces of fruit and put it in there as foraging in some of their toys and they love that. So I figured I'd get some of this. And then just as a treat because my parakeets came eating this food and some of my cockatiels that I fostered also came eating this food and now my birds are addicted to it. They don't get it all the time because I'm not a huge fan of this food, but they absolutely love it. So they do get it occasionally. Um, I just get this at Walmart. It's Wild Harvest Daily Blend Parakeet Canary and Finch Food and it's got like an orange flavor to it I guess it smells like oranges when you open the bag so I don't give it to them all the time but they do like it as an occasional treat so I got a bag of that now into more pellets um, for my cockatiels conure size birds um, oh there goes gizmo come here step up thank you you want to hang out okay so for my birds that are gizmo size. Um, I love Zupreme pellets. There is a lot of controversy on Zupreme pellets, but I really like them. Um, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with them. I do see where people are coming from when they say feed organic, but honestly, my birds get so many fresh 
foods that I don't think that this is an issue. It's not their constant, this isn't their main food. Their main food is fresh food. So I don't think there's anything wrong with Zupreme. Um, but I got the Zupreme Fruit Blend for cockatiel sized birds. I got the Zupreme Veggie Blend for cockatiel sized birds. I like to give them a variety. As you can tell from this video, I love to give my birds variety of literally anything. This food is gonna last me a long time. Um, even though I do have so many birds, this food is literally gonna last so long because they eat so many fresh foods. Um, I got the Zupreme Nut Blend for cockatiel sized birds. And then something new that my birds have never tried that Zupreme just came out with is, sorry, I'm filming on my phone and I have too many videos of my animals on my phone, so I had to delete some stuff. Um, but anyway, as I was talking about the Zupreme Pasta Blend, um, as you can tell, Gizmo jumped right on it. Uh, she wants a piece of that, but the Zupreme Pasta Blend, this was new and I just wanted to try it. I thought it looked really fun, so. We'll try it. I don't even know. I've tasted all of these bird foods, by the way. I don't feed anything to my animals unless I can eat it. So, like, dog treats, bird foods. I don't care how crazy that makes me sound. You can call me crazy in the comments all you want. But I taste all their food. So, I have eaten Zupreme food. It definitely doesn't have that much flavor. But I'm sure for their little mouths, they enjoy it. Um, and then big bird food. Um, I got... They obviously eat the Rowdy Bush and the Harrison, but I got the Nut Blend Zupreme for Big Birds. And then I got the Pasta Blend for Big Birds, and I got a $2 off coupon, so that was fun. Um, by the way, this stuff is typically like $22. This Pasta Blend specifically is more expensive than all the rest of them, I'm assuming, because it's new. This one is like $22 at like PetSmart and Chewy and stuff. Um, but the pet store I went to had it for... $13 and then I got $2 off. So I was like, heck yeah, we're gonna try that. That's like half price. So we tried that and then some of my birdies, my big birdies favorite food. This is Nala's favorite pellet in the world. Um, this and the Harrison's are the fruit flavored. Um, so we got Big Bird Supreme Fruit. So that is all for my bird food and bird supply haul. Um, now let's get into some fun stuff. The fun stuff that you guys have all been waiting for. So I know that I mentioned in my last couple of videos that I don't have as many spiders. Um, I would love to get back into spiders and I am in the process of doing that. However, because I have so many other animals that I'm taking care of right now, um, I'm just going very slow. I am not, I don't want to jump, dive head first in. Um, I'm going very slow. So I haven't ordered any new tarantulas. However, I have wanted this type of spider for a long time and I found one the other day and it is in this little catch cup. Um, I need to set it up. Um, actually, it wasn't even the other day. It was literally, I think yesterday that I found it and I have it in this little catch cup because I need to set up its enclosure. Um, but I got me a giant wolf spider. This gal is like two inches long. Pardon my self tan job, by the way. Like, it is so bad. Um, but I got this little wolf spider. I'm going to insert like a better picture of her, but she's like two inches long. And I'm pretty sure that she's pregnant because she's like massive. Like, her abdomen is massive. Um, compare, at least compared to any of the other wolf spiders that I see like lounging around my house. I never kill them. I just let them like free roam my house. I don't care. My cat eats them sometimes. But other than that, I don't ever kill them. They just free roam. They do their thing. Most of them just hang out in the basement. It is what it is. We have a mutual respect. So I got that wolf spider. I'm going to insert an awesome picture of her though. Isn't she gorgeous? I named her Cat because I saved her from my cat trying to eat her. And I love her. So I named her Cat. And now she is going to be a nice captive spider and be fat and happy in my life. And she just is the love of my life right now. Um, so I'm going to get into the second surprise. My birthday is May 31st. And today is May 20. 
26th, I think today is. Um, I think today is May 26th. I don't know. But my birthday is May 31st. And today, while we were shopping at these pet stores for all of this bird food, not many of you know this because I don't feature my birds too much on my channel, but I have anything from parakeets up to an umbrella cockatoo. Like, I, I'll list my birds right now. Like, you guys will meet them eventually, but I have parakeets, cockatiels, a green cheek conure, an Indian ringneck, caiques, I have an African gray, I have two different species of Amazons, and I have my umbrella cockatoo. So, they have their own bird room in my house, they have their own dedicated space. Um, I go in there, they have, we have play stands all through the house, they come and interact with us in the house. They like to come downstairs and eat at the table with us when we're eating dinner. Um, so, I don't recommend having that many birds for normal people, though, by the way, it is a lot of work. Let me tell you, I literally don't sleep. Like, it is so much work because you have to get them all out every single day and entertain them. But anyway, um, having all those birds, I have a special place in my heart for budgies, parakeets. I literally think that parakeets are such underrated birds. They can be the most amazing birds. They will come out, they will sit with you. You just have to be patient with them. And it drives me nuts that people consider parakeets like throwaway or beginner birds like it literally drives me nuts they can live up to 15 years if treated properly and like i won't get into that rant because i don't have much space on my phone and i'm filming on this phone and whatever but anyway i love parakeets i have a special place in my heart for tiny little birds lovebirds parakeets i don't have a lovebird but little lovebirds parakeets parrotlets like i literally have such a love for tiny little birds. I think they are so underrated. They may be small, but they have big bird personality, let me tell you. So anyway, we're walking through the pet store and um, I have parakeets at home, by the way. So this was not like a spur of the moment, don't have a setup, whatever. I do have parakeets. I have a nice big cage for my parakeets. Um, I currently have three parakeets and I, thought it would be awesome to expand and get them some more friends and I would love to I would love to just hand feed a baby parakeet at some point in my life so I thought maybe I would have a clutch or two um, a couple of my friends would really like parakeets so I figured maybe I might not breed for the public because I don't really know how I feel quite yet about stuff like that um, but I would love to hand rear baby parakeets and so I saw these two parakeets in the pet store and I just thought they were adorable but I promised my fiance that I would not buy any more birds so my friend bought them for me she saw that I liked them she knew that I had a setup and everything at home she knew that it wasn't just like gifting me something that I couldn't take care of um, so I fell in love with these two parakeets and my friend went and got an employee and gave them to me and purchased them for me. So I am going to show you them. They're in their little travel cage right now because we did have to drive an hour. So I bought a little cage for them to travel in and a little toy for them to be entertained on the way home. Um, I do normally recommend a cage bigger than this. But these are my two parakeets. The little yellow one in the back is named Ducky. And this little gal right here is named Pixel. Um, they're a little too young to tell whether they're boys or girls yet. They are still small babies. Um, but I'm going to get some better video footage of them. And I will also insert pictures. And I'm so excited. I love them so much. On the way home, Ducky was preening Pixel's little head. And Pixel was playing peekaboo under her water bowl. And it was just so cute. And then they started singing to me and extending their little heads and showing me how long and beautiful their necks are. So I'm going to show you. A video of them and pictures of them because I just think they are the best things ever and happy birthday to me thank you to my best friend Shyla okay first of all I just want to show you this play stand um, this was gifted to me this is like the most adorable little play stand somebody made for me they um, sanitized all the wood and they put all these little toys on it and my cockatiels and my green cheek and like my smaller birds absolutely love this play stand but yeah this was gifted to me um, so now I want to show you my little babies. This little gal here is Pixel and that little gal back there is Ducky. And they are just the cutest little things. Look at how cute they are. 
they do step up on my fingers um, they are so still so young so I think I'm gonna keep them separate um, from my other parakeets for now just because my other parakeets are breeding age and I don't want them to uh, make babies too young and mess their health up Gizmo's playing with that bell over there having the time of her life I'm shaking I'm sorry I'm like sweating um, but anyway, yeah, look at how adorable they are. I just adore them. Um, by the way, little ducky here. Yes, she has red eyes. Um, I don't believe she is blind. I did have a parakeet that looked like her that I adopted that was really, really old. And, um, she passed away about a year or so into me having her. Um, I adopted her. She was really old when I got her and she was blind, but Ducky, I don't believe, is blind because she seems very in tune with what's going on around her. Um, but she is not albino. I just want to let everybody know she's not albino. Birds with red eyes are not necessarily albino. Yellow birds like this with red eyes are actually what's called Latino. Um, so yeah, look at how cute they are. I just adore them. Anyway, so that was that for this video. That was literally all I had for this video. It may not have been so entertaining for some of you, but I just think it's great. Um, so anyway, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for hanging out in my crafting room. And thanks for seeing all my fun new friends. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I love you. I hope your quarantine is going well. I hope you and all your pets are happy and healthy during this quarantine period. Love you all. Bye.